I am Father James. This is the Barely Protestant YouTube channel. I wanted to introduce you, if you haven't known about it yet, to the Anglican Office Book. I came across it a few months ago. It was not printed out yet. It was still being made and everything. I was really excited about this because I've used a few breveries before. I've used the Benedictine breviary. I have the monastic diurnal. Um, I've not used the Anglican breviary, but uh, there's that one as well. And uh, it, they've just not been what I've been wanting for a breviary. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a breviary is, it is a collection of the uh, office hours. There are seven hours uh, throughout the day, seven times throughout the day where you pray. And it they the, the names of them and sort of the way they work out shift a little bit, but for Anglicans, at least with uh, this breviary, uh, you've got prime, you've got matins, you've got terse, sext, uh, non, um, even song and then Compline. And uh, it structures sort of your day around prayer. Now, two of those are going to be a bit heavier than the others. You've got uh, Matins, which is morning prayer, and then you've got uh, Even Song, which is evening prayer, Vespers, that sort of thing. It uh, depends on, again, what tradition. Uh, they'll call it different things depending. The other ones are going to be a lot shorter. So, what's the problem I've had with other breveries before, like the Benedictine one or the monastic diurnal or the Ang or even the Anglican breviary, is that they actually don't incorporate morning and evening prayer, uh, like the traditional morning and evening prayer into uh, the hours. They have something entirely different. And I'm an Anglican in part because I love the Book of Common Prayer. So what I've been looking for is something that has morning and evening prayer that I could just follow along with this or, or something similar, and we'll get to that part in a second, but with the little hours as well. So uh, prime, uh, terse, sex, non, and compline. And until now, I've been having to sort of patchwork a few things together and sort of like put that. So I, I, you know, it wasn't working very well, but I was using like the little hours of the, the Benedictine breviary. And I was using uh, the Compline of the St. Augustine's prayer book, uh, because I actually prefer that one to the, I'm not a big fan of the Benedictine breviary in, in general. It, it's not that great. Um, but finally, this came out and I got it last week. And uh, it's a bit expensive. It's I think seventy five bucks or something. I'll, I'll put a link below for it. And um, I'm I'm not. This isn't a paid advertisement or anything. I'm just really excited about it. But it has morning and evening prayer. It has uh, as done by the traditional prayer book, and it has little hours as well. Now I, there is a bit of a caveat there. This is very much a an Anglo Catholic uh, breviary. So it has morning and evening prayer as traditionally done. That's all in there in here, but it has a few things in addition to that. So it ha it'll have some hymns that you do, which are fine. Um, it'll have uh, some, uh, let's see, anthems of the Blessed Virgin Mary at the end. Those are sort of more optional. Um, it'll add some more just sort of high church uh, sorts of things into it. And uh, it one of the things I really love, at first I didn't realize it did this, but I'm happy to see this now. Uh, the, the weakest part of the 1928 prayer book which is the one that I use, which is considered sort of the traditional prayer book. The weakest part of it is the lectionary. And uh, it's not the original 28 lectionary that's the problem. It is the 1943 lectionary that was added on in 1943. Uh, this prayer, this breviary has the 1943, it does, but it also has two other options for you. It has the 1549 Book of Common Prayers uh, lectionary, and it has the 1962 Canadian one, which is a more full, uh, I would say a better one than the 1943 uh, lectionary. Now, I, I'm not sure what I'll be using. I've been kind of floating around with the lectionary depending. Uh, I tried doing the 50, the 1549 and it's a bit stale might be the right word for it. I, it's really odd because it does chapter by chapter kind of thing. So that's not a problem. It's not the length so much as it just sort of goes Genesis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, Mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 kind of thing like throughout the year. And uh, it doesn't sort of flow with the seasons, the liturgical season. So that's an issue I have with the 1549. I, I probably sound like I'm really being too picky, but um, I, I actually have my marker right now on the 62. Uh, it is 62, right? Yeah, 1962. 
the 62 Canadian one. Uh, tonight, I'm going to start using it, uh, the 62 Canadian uh, lectionary. And so this has been just amazing. I've loved it so far. It's well made. Um, I, I will say this, if you have problems, if you're still learning how to do the 1928 prayer book or any prayer book, uh, don't try to get this yet um, unless you are really feeling up to it. And I would, and even then I would still say, work on this first, uh, work on the regular prayer book because a prayer book can be incredibly difficult to understand how to do, especially if you grew up evangelical or, or non-Christian there. Um, it, it, it'll go back and forth in a few places and you have to sort of like, oh, wait, I forgot that rubric. Uh, what do I do here? It, it can be confusing. Um, this is uh, very, very easy compared to this. Uh, in fact, if you've not done a prayer book yet and you are wanting to get into doing a prayer book, uh, let me see if I, yep, I have it here. Um, I honestly would highly recommend, hope this is going pretty well. I honestly would highly recommend the 2019 Book of Common Prayer. Uh, it's pretty solid, I would say. Um, and uh, it's a good introduction. It's it's very user friendly compared to something like this, the 28, or especially something like this. Uh, I am having difficulty with this, and I've worked with reveries before. Uh, but this one, uh, it, it's not that it's more difficult than another brevery. Uh, it's just that they just tend to be difficult. <laughs> they they're uh, not always so easy to follow unless you are very very accustomed to it. So I'm still learning and I mess up on what to read next every single time because there's sort of a lot of back and forth and you need to check this or check that before you do prayer. Um, so yeah, if you are wanting the challenge and if you are wanting the, to pray the hours within the historic Anglican tradition, uh, well, Reformation tradition obviously, but combined with uh, the, the uh, office hours tradition, put them together. It's beautiful. I love it. So I am super excited about this. Uh, again, it's not a paid advertisement. It's just I'm really excited about this. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend you trying it out if you have 75 bucks to spare. And if you are wanting to increase your prayer life, it's been honestly just a godsend uh, to me. I've, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I hope you go check out uh, one of the books, prayer books that I that I recommended. Blessings.